welcome back to my channel. Derek, say hi. You're so loud. <laughs> I'm just excited because guess what guys, today is a very special video vlog brought to you in Jamaica. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, brought to you by. Stop. <laughs> Jamaica, man. We're in Jamaica. Um, it's so exciting. We are back at Sandal South Coast. So if you are not new to my channel, if you've been on my channel before, the boomerang, <laughs> you might have watched. <laughs> oh, you just got that in my eye. Anyways. If you've watched my videos before, you might have watched my Sandals Royal Caribbean video that we did two years ago. It's been two years since we visited Jamaica, but Sandals South Coast is actually the first resort that we visited for our honeymoon three years ago. Can you not trash our bed? Like, we just got here. Anyways. <laughs> it's been three years since we've been at Sandals South Coast, and we're so excited to be back. And to be honest, I'm really excited to be at the resort because a sh our shuttle ride over here, so South Coast is in White House, Jamaica, which is about like an hour-ish out from the Montego Bay Airport. And every single person on our shuttle was Buzz Killington. That shuttle ride was so miserable. And it wasn't even miserable because of the drive. The people on it were the freaking worst. And I'm like, where is the excitement? We're about to go on an amazing vacation and you guys are literally the worst and most depressing humans I've ever met in my life. Was maybe, that was that harsh? Maybe they just had a bad day. They just, just fucked up. I mean maybe I'm being a little harsh, but were they not Buzz Killington? They definitely were. Anyways, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Brady. I'm excited to have you here. And oh there's a cat. There's a cat out there. Sorry, I'm really distracted. I also haven't eaten in a really long time and I'm really hungry. But um, oh, I'm going to give you guys room tour before we go, get dinner. Um, but this intro is like really all over the place. I'm sorry. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm excited to have you here. It's going to be a great week. We're so excited. And I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. No, you're doing it all wrong. What do you mean I'm doing it all wrong? You say you got to smash that <laughs> subscribe button and then go whack. Okay. Do it. Smash that subscribe button. No, 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 dat, D-A-T, <laughs> Delta Alpha Tango, dat. <laughs> smash that subscribe button. Oh, wait, <laughs> smash, smash dat subscribe button. <laughs> Where's my camera? <laughs> what? All right, Derek, can we be done with the intro? I've been done with the intro. <laughs> Okay, friends, so let's do the room tour. So we are in the Judge Village, which is actually the same type of room we stayed in for our honeymoon. I believe this is just the standard room at this resort. So this is very nostalgic for us because this literally, I mean, it's exactly the same as what we stayed in our honeymoon. All the furniture is the same, the decor. So this is the little bathroom area. So you got your sink. And what's actually different is they have hand sanitizer here which is that hand, hand sanitizer yeah that's hand sanitizer they have wipes oh they have the red lane stuff here and actually the bottles look like they've changed so that's updated since we've been here um last time and then you have the toilet and the shower which is just pretty basic and then you have the closet right here let me open it so you have a good amount of space. Of course you have extra pillows, the iron, the safe. There's an umbrella in here too. All right, and then of course you have the bed, which Derek is already taking advantage of. <laughs> we got our little desk slash vanity area. I mean, this is literally the same layout as our room on our honeymoon. And then Although, was the couch against this wall in our last room? It was, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, and then you have the TV, and then there's a fridge in here in this little thing, and it comes fully stocked with, oh, there's wine in here too? Dang. Sodas, 
fruit juice, Coke, and you got a little coffee bar here. And the, the rum and liquor bar like did it last time. Oh yeah, that's, you know why? Because we were in an upgraded room at Royal Caribbean. Oh yeah, we're poor again. Yeah, we are poor again. Um, little couch, and then here is our little balcony slash veranda. You don't think they do the newspapers anymore? That was my favorite part. It was nice because you could just open it up and you knew where and when everything was open. With the it. itinerary and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, they used to. Did they do that at Royal Caribbean too? Oh, you're still thinking us? Yeah. I think they had it at Royal Caribbean, right? Yeah. Yeah, so the last time we were here, they had a little newsletter that they gave you every day. And we were, because Derek was trying to look up the restaurants and see what's open and what's going on tonight because we want to go get dinner, but they don't have the newspaper anymore, which is sad. Um, the other thing I wanted to tell you is an interesting fact. I actually thought this was really interesting was the KFC thing. The KFC in Montego, Montego Bay, like by the airport, was freaking bumping. It was like the size of a rock and roll small. It was huge. The biggest KFC I've ever seen. It had the giant bucket like that was like rotating in the sky. And the drive through line was literally wrapped around, what, probably two or three times. And the driver of our bus said that it's the second largest KFC in the world. And what did KFC stand for? Uh, keep, keep from cooking? Nope. Keep from cooking. <laughs> um, it was busy. And he said the largest KFC is in Europe, which I found very interesting. So that was a really fun and interesting fact that we learned on the way here but besides our um the people on our bus being like buzz killingtons the ride over here was actually really nice and i enjoy it because it is if we had stopped which we didn't so they usually stop halfway i think if you stop it's like an hour and a half maybe an hour and 45 but to be honest our driver was driving pretty fast and then it rained so we ended up not stopping at the rest area which I prefer because I kind of just wanted to get here. But it's really nice because you kind of get to see the countryside and the scenery on the ride in. And they've actually done a lot of developing since we've been here three years ago. It just looks like there's houses that weren't here three years ago and they've kind of refurbished some stuff. And the, the bus driver said that there used to be ruins that they've kind of developed and just built some stuff up so it was interesting to see everything again three years later because it's been a while since we saw stuff but overall the travel day it went really smooth i've heard that airports have been a nightmare because people are finally venturing out and traveling but surprisingly bwi airport wasn't bad we got there at nine our flight was at twelve thirty, and we were through tsa pre-check and checked our bags within 20 minutes and got food, didn't have to wait in line, and it was really easy. So, and even in the Jamaica airport, going through customs two years ago was packed, and we came, what, in early June for our anniversary, and it wasn't bad at all this time. Um, also, Jamaica is, like, the COVID thing, they're doing such a good job with sanitizing and stuff. So we had to test uh, negative for COVID before we entered the country. So we did that at home, like had to print out our paperwork, our travel authorization, um, proof of insurance, and bring our passports, obviously. So we had all our paperwork ready. They checked it in BWI when we flew out, and then they check it again when you get here, go through customs. And as soon as you're off of the airplane, they spray your hands with hand sanitizer, and then... When we got over to, where was the next place they made us sanitize? Once we went through the place where you declare your stuff? Customs. Cus well, where the, so the first checkpoint is like where you show them your passport. Isn't that customs? I think uh, the whole thing is customs, yeah. but you do your passport first. And then the second part was if you declare anything, like check your stuff again. I think that's where they did hand sanitizer the second time. And then we went to the little sandals, uh, like, area, lobby, lounge thing at the airport, and we had snacks. And then when we went to get on our shuttle, before we got in the shuttle, they hand sanitized us. 
And then when we got to the resort, they actually took our temperatures and made us hand sanitized before we went into the resort. So they're on top of their stuff here with COVID, which is cool. But yeah, so that's how our travel day went. It was a pretty smooth day. I know there's so many cats outside. It's a little rainy right now, but it's just, it's raining off and on. But we're just waiting for our bags to get here and then we're gonna head out and get food. I'm so hungry, so hungry. I wish Giuseppe's was open. I want that lasagna, so good. But all the food here is amazing and all I can think about is dinner. So hopefully our bags show up soon. I can't wait, I can't believe we're here. Isn't it unreal we're here? So sweet. I'm so excited. Good morning, guys. We woke up in paradise. I am so excited. I didn't vlog last night at dinner because honestly, we were so hungry and my head started hurting pretty badly. I think we just went too long without food because we ate at the airport at like 9.30 and then we didn't eat real food until like seven o'clock last night. So we had had like snacks, but it just was not enough. My head was throbbing. So we ended up going to Jasmine's, which is an Indian Asian fusion restaurant. And we actually ate there on our last trip, but we ate there once towards the end of our trip and we regretted not eating there earlier. And it was just as good as I remember it. So I had a beef Szechuan and then Derek had their salmon. What are you? Anyway, so he had salmon that was really good. And then, because we were so hungry, we went to sushi on the sand. <laughs> As you bang your elbow into the drawer that you left open. <laughs> um, so we went to get sushi. And I don't really eat sushi. It's not my fave, but I did get the veggie roll and that was pretty good. And Derek got some stuff. And then I think I made the, the waiter really angry. It was so funny. We So I wanted tea because my head was hurting. And so I asked, he asked us what we wanted to drink. And there were teapots and teacups out. And I'm like, okay, so they have hot tea. I mean, that's not uncommon for dinner because people will have tea and coffee with their dessert. So I had asked for it. And the guy, it was just like this sheer look of panic. And he just ran away from the table. And Derek was like, what did you do? <laughs> I think I scared him. So I think he, what happened was he came back and then he asked us our drink orders again. And Derek was like, I'm having this signature cocktail and she's going to have the hot tea. And he was like, we don't have tea boiled or water boiled. So it's going to take a minute. So I think that's what happened. They just didn't have water prepared, which it was fine. He ended up bringing it to me and it was worth it because it did actually make my head feel a little better. But... All that to say, dinner was good. We got back to the room, we got settled, showered, and I took Tylenol. And I did have trouble falling asleep only because outside of our room was pretty noisy last night. I think just people were drinking and stuff. But eventually I fell asleep and I was so excited to wake up and it'd be sunny and beautiful outside in SV and Jamaica. So we're getting ready for the day. We, our game plan today is we're gonna go get breakfast at, do you know what the breakfast place is called here? Oh yeah, I think it's Bayside. So that's just where they have the buffet and we're gonna get some breakfast and then we may just walk around the resort cause we kind of need to reacquaint ourselves with where stuff is. Cause we were talking about it over dinner last night and try, we were just like, well, sh schooners over on that side or this side, we can't really remember. So we're gonna walk around. I feel like once we went to Royal Caribbean, now the two are kind of like meshing together. We don't really remember which places were where. So. We're gonna do that and then we also have to make dinner reservations because the last time we were here and maybe we're just forgetting we don't remember having to make reservations but they told us that Giuseppe's the Italian place Eleanor's and Schooner is it Schooner's or Schooner's you have Schooner's you have to make reservations for so we're gonna do that today and figure out which days we want to go where Giuseppe's we're gonna go at least twice I don't know how you feel, Derek, but I want to go at least twice because that's my favorite. Works for me. Yeah, it's so good. It's such good Italian food. That's probably my favorite restaurant I think I've tried at Sandals so far. So that's the game plan, and we'll bring you guys along the way. Excited to have our first fun day in Jamaica.
Is that the dad? I don't know, maybe that's the mom, because doesn't the dad have the colorful feathers? That might be the mom, probably. And then this one over here is sunbathing. It's like, laid on its It's like, do do do. Hi, little baby peacock. She got it. It's so cute. There's signs on the resort that says, do not feed or pet the peacocks. So. We definitely. Uh, there's the other one over there. Oh, yeah, the other babies are over there across the way. So cute. Derek and I are about to head out for dinner, but we've just been chilling in the room. We actually came in kind of early. I think it was around four o'clock and we ended up just getting freshened up for dinner early because we went to the spa earlier today, Red Lane Spa, and got massages. And it was so, so nice and relaxing and everything my body needed. But afterwards we were like grease balls because they use all that massage oil and I felt so nasty. So after massages, we went to get lunch at the Jerk Shack and it was super windy. You probably saw my clips for earlier. So windy and the skies were getting so black, but I don't think it actually ever rained, but it was thundering for a long time. So we've just been chilling. What are you drinking over there? Coke? The American Coke. Is it actually American or does it taste different? Cause remember last time we discovered there was like less sugar in it than a regular Coke in the U.S. No, there's a shit ton of sugar in this. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we finally got dinner reservations, but they're not for tonight. They're other nights. They were already pretty booked up for tonight, so we don't know where we're eating yet. We might go to sushi first and get an appetizer, and then I think we might go back over to Bayside where we had breakfast, but they turn it into a table service dinner. At nighttime, I think. At least they did two, three years ago. Two years ago? We're going to go check it out. Let me show you my outfit. Outfit of the day is this purple floral romper from American Eagle. Ruffles at the bottom. Very comfy. But yeah, that's it. And then Derek is wearing... Whoa! <laughs> I was trying to ride the... What is wrong with you? Derek is wearing khaki shorts and a blue shirt and trying to like suitcase surf in our room and doing snow angels. All right, on that note, we're going to head out for dinner and drinks and we'll catch you guys later. We're moseying before dinner. So they actually just put these huts in. They didn't used to be here. I think they're literally brand new um, because when we were here for our honeymoon three years ago, they didn't exist. So we're gonna go over there and check them out. It's very pretty over here. Our building is like right back there. So not too far from here. And they all have, I think a private swim up pool. Derek is obsessed with this grass also. Oh my gosh, look at the pool, it's so pretty. These are so nice.
Which one are you going for first? Eat the crispy one first. I love the crispy one. What's the is that that's the Philly roll? Right? That's the cream creamy Philly roll. <laughs> Cat's back. Oh, that's a different. It's a different cat. <laughs> Hi, kitty. Sorry, it's a little scrap here in the other one. Yeah, it does look a little scrap. <laughs> It's not going to leave the tooth now. Oh, well. It'll be okay. 